Welcome back to another episode of the ADU Show. I'm Mitch Blosky, and this week, this week we're talking about rules and regulations with real estate. So regarding ADUs, rules can vary depending on location. So here are some common rules and regulations you might encounter. Number one, zoning laws. ADUs may be restricted to certain areas, such as single family residential zones. Local zoning laws may also place limits on the size and location of ADUs. Number two, building codes and safety regulations uh, regarding ADUs, uh, they must meet the same safety and building codes as other dwelling units, and they must comply with local fire, electrical, plumbing, and mechanical codes. Uh, number three, parking requirements. Local governments may require that a certain number of parking spaces be provided for ADU tenants, which can be challenging for homeowners who have limited driveway or garage space. So you'd have to show the city that you could park on the street, then that's okay. Number four, rent control. In some cities and counties across California, ADUs may be subject to rent control laws, which can limit the amount of rent that landlords can charge tenants. It's crazy, I know. Number five, owner occupancy requirements. Now, some jurisdictions may require that the owner of the property with the ADU lives in one of the units, which is called owner occupancy requirement. So number six, impact fees. In some cases, local governments may require homeowners to pay impact fees when building an ADU, which can help offset the cost of infrastructure improvements, such as more water going in or more sewers going on. Uh, number seven, time restrictions. Some cities have time restrictions on the length of time that a property owner can rent out an ADU and may require that an ADU be occupied by family members or long-term renters. So no, um, no VRBO or Airbnbs. Uh, number eight would be design standards. So again, some cities and counties have design standards for ADUs that dictate the type of materials that can be used the size of windows, and other architectural elements and features. It's important to check with your local government to understand the laws and regulations that could affect the construction and operation and the maintenance of your ADU in your area. ADU rules, uh, they change a lot. They change pretty frequently and they can, offer, uh, they can differ from one jurisdiction to another. So it's important to stay up to date with current laws. While ADUs offer a lot of benefits to the real estate market, including increasing the supply of housing, providing additional source of income for the homeowners, and creating a more diverse and inclusive neighborhoods, there are potential downsides to consider, such as increased traffic and parking issues, uh, zoning and regulatory hurdles like we just mentioned. So before embarking on an ADU project, please be sure to weigh uh, the pros and cons carefully and reach out to me and one of our companies, Empire ADU or Instant Living, and we could help you on your way. Thanks a lot for watching this week and we'll see you soon on the ADU show.